Hey guys, I'm just gonna, um, this is just a short tutorial how to play The New Black by, as a, or Every Time I Die, Every Time I Die. Okay, and this is in drop D, D A D, G B E, and just ignore my, my low B up here. It's a seven string, so it's kind of what I'm using right now. It's a pretty simple song. Solo just takes a couple of minutes to get used to, but first, first, um, riff in the beginning is okay okay first thing the power chord on it's a standard power chord on the DAD and it's on the second fret and then you get two dead notes two palm muted and then you hit the second hand so. and then this part that's two on the A, five on the D, two on the D. So. And then the next part before you do it again is like which is just Open, two, five, so. Okay, that's pretty much it for the, you repeat that a bunch of times. I don't know, it changes a little bit, and then it does the, and then they hold the second note for, or, the two for a little bit longer, so. After the second, or after the first riff, you do that a couple times. But okay, next part is like. Okay, Just two power chord again, twice. Two on the A, five on the A, two on the higher D. Yeah. Then you go back down to five on the A. So you just go back down to the two after that. And then the second bar is like. It's like two, two, five, two, five on the low D. So. Two on the A, five on the A, two on the A, five on the D. Then you have to go two, five, two, five, two. Two on the two on the A, five on the A, two on the A, five on the D, and then two on the a again. And then you just hammer on to the fifth on D. So. Really, you're just using your pointer finger and your pinky. You can't use your, your ring finger. But, um, I think it's just easier to use your pinky. And then you have this cool like a little progressive kind of riff. And you basically know that's two and then two five. Two five zero. Just watch my finger, it's pretty simple to figure out. And then you do that four times and then you start moving up to the you just go to up an octave, so it'd be. And then you 
just pretty much do the same thing except 12 frets above, so it would be on the 14 instead of 2. Um, for the next part, it's a, it's a break, so it's like... <laughs> higher than what before. The second time around, it's Okay, you know the first half of that, but the second half of that little quicker riff is 17 on the A, 14 on the A, 17 on the D, 14 on the D, 16 on the G, and 14 on the G, so. Pretty simple, but um, tabs don't really show that, so. So I'm just going off the Guitar Hero version, which I'm just using the masters to map it out, so I'm a little more accurate than what tabs are. Okay, so that's pretty much everything until the solo. The solo is pretty simple. Okay, what you do is on your B, put your, t your pointer on your 12th fret, and then your ring finger on the 14th, and then you do And then it's the same concept, just go up, go up, go up. on the G, and then 12 on the G. 
then another thing they don't show on the tab is the little just 11 to 9. Pretty much it, and then I just go back and go. Okay, one thing I didn't mention is a uh, is uh, um, one of the breakdowns. They use that in the outro, and one of the breakdowns also. It's this two two power parts, and then open. All mute. You bend the fifth up to seven. So there you go, pretty much the whole song there. Pretty simple. It's a fun song to play, really. I just really dig the riff.